Alright. Hello everyone! Welcome to a brand new feature that we've been waiting for quite a while to give you. My name's Kyle Snow. I'm joined here by my boys Chris Miller. How's it going, Chris? I'm doing great. I'm enjoying and my life. Excellent. And Ryan the early bird power. How's it going, Ryan? Dear God, it is early. Holy God. That is true. It is 8 a.m. That is it's a little bit past 8 a.m. here. But that is true. To the average person, that's like, yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. Shane's probably at school right now. No, leaving for school maybe. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyways, we are the Pajad Squad, and we're here to play Destiny Motherfucking Two. We've already played some. We. That is true. We we, we did, did play. We, we couldn't avoid playing it when it unlocked it last night. Yeah, we we did start playing it last uh, night, but we couldn't part record. Part of the reason I'm tired. Yep. Part of the reason? I mean, I'd stay up late if that's what you're wondering. Oh, okay. Yeah. I actually stopped like ten minutes after you guys did. I uh, once we get to the EDZ, I'll show you guys a few things. I uh, yeah. did a few. I did some exploring around there. Found some Dope. stuff. Yeah. It'll be a little bit before we get through there. So yeah, we have played a little bit of this game for the viewers. Uh, at home uh, last night we have a little bit of time before Chris and Ryan will be able to join us in game because obviously this is from my perspective but uh, we're gonna do some we're gonna do character creation uh, mine's actually already created because it, I'm gonna use my one from destiny one so uh, and I'm gonna be a titan for this yeah I'm gonna be a Ryan, hunter did you did you notice Ryan um, anything with like the pre in terms of like extra rewards for keeping same character or whatever? Uh, not really, no. Okay. I just I so just I'm deleted just... my Titan to make a new one, but I, with I my Warlock just... I just left it the same, but I didn't really notice much. Like, I think okay. it's just if you want to keep the same look. I think you get reward. I think all the rewards are account-based, I don't know. I haven't seen rewards yet in general, so... Like, Nor have I. The Postmaster I. didn't give, give us anything that when we were playing last night that, that was like, hey, it'll be a while before we get to the Postmaster stuff, though. Probably. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I've I've already got my character created and ready to go. So when you guys have your characters created and are ready to go, we'll uh, we'll start around the same time so that we're sort of like sort of in the same time frame. Uh, we'll just cut all this jank well, out in between. Yeah. Go. Oh, I already hate go. Sorry. Perfect. No, it's okay. We're not. We don't have to be like that far apart. Like Chris said, he's skipping dialogue anyway. So. Yeah, I'm not obviously because stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go, boys. Hey, the tower. That place is pretty cool. So yeah, obviously we have uh, we have seen all of this once before, but it's it's a pretty good start. Or in Chris's case, he's probably seen this about a hundred sure times. Most people in beta. know of this stuff too. This stuff was trailer stuff. Yeah, yeah, but we won't stuff. spoil it in case anyone hasn't. Well, it kills me to say, I, mean, but I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Kate, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Ooh, Let's get sassy. Zavala. This is my serious face. Can't you tell? <laughs> like Koro, what have you got? Some Nathan Fillion does such a good well, job with this character. Say, um, early impressions, I know Chris wanted, was, was talking a little bit about them. Um, the wall was gone dark. There's like, they lean more, and I started to notice this as they did, did this in The Taken King. Like one of the things I think people thought the of the first stones? game, aesthetically, it was very... It was very much like if Halo met Star Wars, right? Like there was a very big vibe of that I mean, kind of thing going on. There. Yep. Um, there are no and I felt like with uh, the House of Wolves expansion, and then as well as what I've seen of a lot of this, now they're also like, hey, also we threw a shit ton of Game of Thrones shit in here too. Yeah. Like the villain in this game is so Game of Thrones. It's not even funny. Oh yeah. He's like a Game of Thrones Warhammer character. Yeah, he's got the fucking chaos marine armor too. No, <laughs> sort of. White version. I'm uh, I'm really happy that they leaned harder into these three characters as well. The uh, Cade, I I already forgot the other two's names. Cade and Zabella. Thank you. Cade's the good one. I just I really like Nathan Fillion. Okay. Oh my man, Zabella's pretty cool too. He's all right. I do like that, uh, I didn't realize until like a day or two ago, I, I think I mentioned it to you guys last night, but uh, that Akora is voiced by Gina Torres, so we got that sweet Firefly connection in there. 
Mal and Zoe reunited. I've never seen Firefly. Oh, it's a really good show. You should watch it. Also, that's a lot of ships. The guy who voices the Titan is Daniels from The Wire. I mean, oh wow. Yeah. There you go. He's done a bunch of games lately. He did. He also did that one Quantum Break or whatever. He did that mm -hmm. with also Littlefinger, who was also from The Wire. Is that the one that has the guy who plays uh, Iceman or whatever in Sean Ashmore Iceman movies? Yeah. Or, break? Yeah, yes, yes. It, yeah, is it him or is it his twin brother? Because there there are two no, twins. I, and they're both actors. It's him. It's his. It's him. Okay. It's him and Littlefinger's the villain, and then Dad. I remember is like thinking. A, a cop. I remember thinking that game looked like a potential. All, that movie. that also has what's his name from Lord of the Rings, um, Pippin. Oh um. Yeah. That's his. He plays he plays Sean Ashmore's brother or something, if I remember correctly. Yeah. All right. Just hang out on my ship here, with my best friend, the ghost, probably. I thought that was gonna cut quicker. I mean, look at the armor I'm wearing, though. Like seriously, there are two giant lions on it, like proudly yep. attacking. Like, how? like, come on. My Everyone's looking at your armor. I'm blonde. <laughs> are you actually you blonde? Have the... Yes. I decided That's to make... great. <laughs> lions. That's I great. I decided to make future scar cap. Forget I said that. Who now, with this armor, actually just looks like he's a member of the Lannister fucking army. It's pretty good. Um, these ghosts I find are very charming. You mean Nolan North? Yeah. Infinite Nolan Norths? Not Infinite Nolan Norths. In this game that I know of. Well, you know, I mean, it's nobody said it was a perfect game, Ryan. I mean, they lost their Thrones connection once they got rid of Dinklage. Oh, I totally forgot the original was Dinklage. The original ghost in the base game was Peter Dinklage. Fuck. Hey, yep. it, sa it saves my settings, which means the sensitivity's up. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah same. Too. Yeah. Alright, boys. We're in. We're trying to find Zavala, Ikora, and Cade, apparently. Let's go. Cabal! Yeah, like, and I, was, I was mentioning this to Kyle, too, like... You know, when we played yesterday, like, we didn't actually, well, I knew, because I, I played it, but, um, I know Kyle didn't really notice a lot of things that, oh, this is the tower, right? I yeah, I, is... I heard him saying that immediately, and I was like, oh man, what a noob. Fuck you, Ryan! <laughs> but so, One of us had a microphone yesterday! Report to evac points! Guardians. But uh, still, you know, it's uh, it, it, you know, in some ways there is definitely uh, some cool moments when you realize, like, oh, I'm like literally here. This is where I am. I bought. Oh hey, my boy Cade. Stuff from Sir. You know, in the spot. So I mean, one of the big changes this that to this game that I like, and it seems very small on the surface. It's one of the things we were, we were kind of talking about. Uh, sorry, you guys were, were talking about. And I was slacking about yesterday. Um, just little changes to how they handle narrative delivered to you in world and how that equates to like making the people in the game feel like they're also in the same world as you and the first Destiny had a real big problem with it felt like everyone you could talk to or interact with was separate from the game yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it felt like when you would drop down to missions and, and play, you would never be talking, seeing, or interacting with anybody. And this, literally in the opening parts of the game, it, it, it it's like coming out and saying, that ain't the case. It opens a door and Cage shoots a motherfucker right in front of you. It's like, yeah. yes. And then he's like, have the chat with you. you know, they are on missions with you. They do things. Yeah. It's like, thank God. You get it. Like, it, they obviously under understood what the fucking, you know, the complaints were. Yeah. Well, the first Destiny had a lot of potential, and it really kind of came into its own around Taken King, but... Like... Yeah, but Taken King's still like... I think, I, I think it honestly came into its own around House of Wolves. It just I got know. way better with Taken King. Yeah, Taken King was fantastic, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, that's um, kind of when I got in for still a lot of There were still a lot of surface issues with Destiny that Taken King never fixed. Yeah. Oh, one thing we should mention too that they, because it, it didn't show up uh, because it only did it at first launch, but there was this cool little thing when we launched the game previously where they like would show different, um, like your first time in different missions from the different expansions, and it would show you like who your party was. 
So yeah. like, and, and the date that That's it was been on. A big hit from what I've read. A lot of people yeah. really loving that. Well, it's just cool because it's like, oh yeah, I remember when we did this. It gets you jacked up to play, man. Like it's. Oh yeah. Like, I uh, I was getting a little emotional yesterday around launch after the 20 minutes it took us to get in, but. Honestly, yeah. I, I, we got Props. in right away today, but like the, when they launched, it was it was it was a it was controlled rollout, I believe. Yeah. All that. Yeah, yeah, well, it's just smart, because you're never ever going to have to have servers that are going to be able to handle the kind of launch you'll need, or the kind of volume you'll see at launch, right? Because from forever on afterwards, your user base, even if it grows, some people are already playing, some people aren't, but, like, fucking everybody was, was signing on at the exact same second, right? Uh, I, I'm pretty happy with Destiny servers awesome. as well. Okay, that's a big ship. You, Kyle, for the record. You were saying that I need to uh, go see a doctor or something. I only slept like three and a half hours, but that's all. No, no, I was saying I would think you would need to see a doctor if it actually took you six hours to start to feel okay after you woke up. Because that's like half yeah, a day. I, <laughs> I mean, if I'm feeling sick... I, I mean, don't... yes. Well, that, that, that's different. That's the different. implication being if it was your every day. You're like, hey, I just feel shitty for the first six hours of every day. I'd be like, I would send you to a doctor. It was kind of a throwaway comment. <laughs> Oh man, I remember this it's, place. It's, this used to be where the postmaster stood. Stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I was pretty tired this morning too because my, di my digestive system is like, what's up? Yeah. For uh, for the for the viewers' sake, by the way, we uh, we're starting at eight, ten, and eleven o'clock our times, and we're going pretty so much for all most day. Viewers who live in the world of Eastern Standard Time, since that's like everybody. <laughs> yeah, so uh, ten Eastern Standard Time. I'm I'm out on the West Coast, as people should know. The west coast of Canada, Canada. Yep. I'm on the east. Chris is in the middle. And I'm. I mean, uh, Chris is technically on the east, but. Well. Yeah, in she's in, in the terms middle. Of the I'm, size of, I'm in the Ontario. Size, let's put it that yeah, way. In terms of the size of our pro, our country, yeah, Manitoba is kind of middle. Okay. Indeed. My ghost keeps tagging these cabals. Hey, Cade. Red Legion. Cora, what do you got? They're elite, ruthless, and ruthless. But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be playing a lot today. Have you uh, have you guys been noticing like I don't know it's, maybe I'll ask Ryan specifically because he's a little more experienced playing the first one. Does it feel the same to you playing wise? Control for the most part. Shooting. For the most part. So yesterday it took me about I'd say 20, 30 minutes to really remember the movement yeah. of Destiny. Like for. For one of the biggest reasons it took me a bit was we're, we consistently play Overwatch. Overwatch plays at a higher frame rate. Totally. Um, yeah. Overwatch kind of moves a little faster, um, so it took me a bit because we've been playing so like, like that's the shooter game I've been playing most. Like for a little bit, I was like, man, this is feeling sluggish. Um, and it wasn't just sensitivity that it started on; it defaults to three, which that was the same thing. I had, I had the same thing going uh, on. It, it, it wasn't just sensitivity; it was also just Destiny plays at 30 frames per second. I'm pretty sure Overwatch plays at 60. That that you're you're just gonna notice that. Yep. Yeah. It's the same thing with Call of Duty. Call of Duty plays at 60, right? Oh, I just exploded. It was the same in the old days. Call of Duty played at higher frame rate. Halo didn't, but Halo was still really tight. It's just you that have to adjust to that that style of frame rate. After that, I, I, I felt fine. Yeah. Like I felt like it played the same at that point for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, I'm noticing real. Uh, once I had the sensitivity issue and I got a little more used to it, um, I really had no issues. I just I, I totally oh. forgot that Overwatch plays at such a high frame rate though. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be weird even Overwatch going back. Yeah. yeah. Overwatch is gonna feel so we fast to me now. It, like it, after doing this, yeah. even just for like. That's how I felt in the hours. beginning when I started playing it. Hey, man, I'm that's just uh, yeah. just repelling the assaults. Uh, by the way, gentlemen. Oh. The visuals, uh, and obviously the stream will get better look at it as we go. The visuals in this game are incredible. I mean, they were great in the first one too, though. Yeah. This is where I realized we were like, like this is the main hub of the tower. Like, that yeah. th that uh, hut that we used to dance on is right over there. Mm -hmm. The tower plaza. Yeah, that's the one. In fact, I'm actually gonna just uh, head over here. I'm just gonna have a little dance for old time's sake, you know? Yep. <laughs> Being shot at by Cabal. It's okay, I'm just gonna have a little dance. These other people that are like playing because it's obviously it's an open open part. 
Yes, this no. is. You're just like, this guy's an oh, idiot. Yeah. yeah. Why is this guy dancing? Yeah. I'm actually almost dead, so I probably should be a little less uh, cavalier. Uh, there we go, I'm recharging. You know, the one thing that I will say about this level too, that was really, this opening level that really wowed me, the the, the fact that the space battle is just going on. Yeah. Outside, like, if there's anything so more, if there's anything that's not more Star Wars than that, I don't know. Like, that's one of the, the most Star Wars ass away. fucking things of all time. Like yep. Just look outside the hangar bay, and you're outside the fucking, the and you're just like, oh my I god, there the are floor. giant fucking oh, ships and wars, I, it is crazy. We're on it, Commander. We're all gonna die. Things are absolutely happening. Alright. We gotta go... Find the speaker. So, we all. So for for the record, we're using Kyle's a, a hunter this time out. Chris will be the warlock, and I'm the titan. But when we started yesterday, I was the warlock. Kyle was the titan, and Chris was the hunter. So I was just kind of curious to get some early class impressions from you guys. Uh, uh, I really love the hunter. Oh, I got gold. stuck here last time too. <laughs> How Darth Maul uh, does it feel? Oh man, it I'm is looking forward to the seeing it. Feeling. Oh my god, that's the thing. And I was also wanted to know, Kyle, how Cap does the. Like, I didn't realize you run around with the shield at your side. You literally yeah. look like Cap while you have it. Yeah, did and you notice that when I was it. charging into? Yeah, I didn't at first because I couldn't see your ult because you used it like you know when, when the firefight's happening you don't always catch it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Someone used the ult, but like. When you find well, there was a point I caught it, I was like, "Holy crap!" He's just running around with it, and then bashing people it. in the face. Yeah. Yeah. What? I, I didn't wasn't able to throw it unless that was maybe just me. I was bashing people with it, and I was using it to block. Yeah, there's a throw. There's they I'm, each each all at this point seems to be another state where you have like your grenade gets replaced with an attack, and yeah, your melee gets replaced with an attack, and then you also have the gun shoot, which is an attack. So like with the warlock. You light up a giant flaming fucking sword. One of the attacks shoots like a like a repeated like little fireball grenade. One of the attacks is a giant like flaming like a, a ranged flaming attack, and then the other attack is like a AOE melee. Yeah, I didn't actually try any of the buttons besides like the the yeah, aim button so was a block. Assume, and I the... remember looking. There is a throw with the shield. So I'm assuming just one of the buttons, probably the uh, the, the grenade button. button just a, uh, nah, maybe. Uh, I mean, it wasn't it fire because that was ba shield bash, and it wasn't uh, yeah. aim because that was. But it could be melee. It could be that as well. Although that would be really counterintuitive, where your it, it, shoot yeah, button is melee. The grenade and... button seems to do a grenade equivalent, but it's like you could hit it, you can redo it over and over again. Yeah. All right. Cutscene time. Shit, I should probably use my. Uh... Oh no, I don't have a heavy weapon. You know, uh, I I will say this like it, the cool thing is like yeah it feels like Darth Maul, but then there's also moments where you can you can just jump up and Goodbye. slam it down, that guardian, and that, never showed that up it's about. just the cool thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a moment where uh, I don't know uh, if you guys remember oh, when we had that little area where you had to jump all the way down. I, obviously, I won't spoil the mission or anything, but anyway, there was a big cliff. Yeah, that was down. really cool. Oh man, it felt it felt awesome. I don't know how it looked, but the it music's felt awesome. been epic so far. Holy shit! Yeah, by the yeah. way, some of the best music they've done. The music in the EDZ, like holy fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also love like this first mission really highlights how they do different mission structure. Um, like there's just a moment when um, Daniels puts up a shield, and if you don't get into it. You die. Right, Simple as that. There is yep, that definitely did not happen to me. And I'm just that like, okay, definitely did not happen to me. They're today. actually exploring more than just run to a place and hit square. There's been some of that, but even most of that's been context. Yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah. just amazing how having characters in world suddenly makes all the run and hit square things feel a little more legitimate. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I may have forgotten to get inside of. Uh, Let us know the animal yeah. Yeah. Uh, not that time, that was afterwards. I just kind of forgot to get inside of the thing and I died. Yeah, exactly, right? That's just a moment, a sequence in the mission. Yeah, Fuck which is funny, I noticed it the first time when I, like, I did, I did it smartly, but this time, uh, when I knew it was coming. Fuck. No, Ryan. It's just uh, an online uh, game. They can't be paused. Did you die? I'm just okay. trying to uh, want to drink water. Let me take a look. Yeah, you gotta pick your moments, dude. Okay. Gotta pick your moments. Hey, ghosts, download the schematics. Let me that console. Are you guys on the ship yet? 
Uh, yeah, I'm I'm in the I'm near the end. The shield generator should of the ship. Oh yeah. Ship. I'm uh, heading for the generator. Sure what guardians are made of. Hey, fuck you I guys. Don't mind, I don't mind this. Uh, I'll say this about the warlock. I don't mind this alt uh, or special attack or supercharge. I'm not. A, I'm not a big fan of it. Like it's okay. Um, this is the one. Oh, oh that's the orb. The orb one. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, you kind of have to aim it. Yeah, yeah but it's that, that doesn't matter because you lose once. it. So you hey, yes, yeah, sure. yeah, here. exactly. You get the fucking epic sword of flaming sword of doom. Yeah. God, the, the image it's... for it is so dope when you go into the class thing. It's like, oh, you'll see it, Chris. It's so good with the dawn blade. I love what a name too, dawn blade. What a Game of Thrones ass name. Oh man, I'm pretty yeah. sure there is a thing in Game of Thrones named dawn blade. Yeah. There's not even a league called the, the Dust Blade. By the way, for the chat, the more games of Thronesy stuff, usually the better. It's, it's generally how it goes. Yep. I mean, it, it, there's just an aspect to it that makes it that makes systems in Destiny feel a little different than just regular. It doesn't feel like Earth, right? It doesn't just feel like people. It feels like it used to be people. When we're running around the universe and you see all these cars that look really old school, it feels like it used to be people, but then space fucking tribes showed up, like the Fallen and the Cabal, and just everything changed, right? Yeah. Even the Awoken and the Yagzos to some some extent, right? Because Earth obviously used to like, be just the I, humans. I mean, no offense, but the Cabal's hierarchy does not feel democratic in any way. It feels way more akin to something like Game of Thrones. I mean... I'm pretty sure that that Same guy is calling forward. himself the Emperor, houses, right? For fuck's sakes. Yeah, exactly. Emperor, King, 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 King the, the one true king. It's monarchy. The yeah. He'll have a giant fucking throne to sit on, I'm sure. Made of swords? No, he'll be made of, like... The Cabal are really Warhammer as well. They're very Warhammer. Oh, yeah. Space Marine vibe. Yeah, they, they definitely do. Also, how oh, I just got exploded! Speaker? Like Jesus. How not, dare they uh, do that? not there yet, Ryan. Oh, come on, Kyle! Everyone's seen this. No, what do you mean? Do you think everybody watches videos ahead of time? That's not the case. <laughs> Listen, it's these absolutely aren't spoilers. The type of information you reveal in a trailer. I hate the culture. We, we've talked about this, but I hate the spoiler culture we live in. I mean, no, I will silly. have to firmly disagree with you because if somebody doesn't have a chance to watch something immediately, they shouldn't just get Kyle, on it. Li listen, I can understand that when something is really s silly, but it's not like you, it's hard to, to avoid spoilers. But like at the same time, the type of know. shit that people freak out about, like I just sure. People to, but I feel like the when someone's watching a video, what's going to happen ahead of time when ninety percent of the media we listen to and or sorry we watch isn't trying really hard to be unpredictable. You notice how we're sitting here referencing other things with this yeah. game? Because that's sure. what everything is. Not I think it's fair. Anymore. I Just think it's fair it. to assume for... No, we're not getting into the fucking mammals discussion again. Um... <laughs> That uh, every time you say just deal with it or just accept it, I always go back to there in my head. <laughs> yes. um, I think it's fair to assume that if a viewer is trying to avoid spoilers and they're like, oh, I'll watch this video that's going to have this thing in it, maybe we shouldn't talk about the thing 10 minutes before it ends up on screen. Yes, that's probably fair for time, a viewer. You don't want to be tone deaf. You're, like, you're showing this Destiny footage as if we're going to show the beginning of the game, ha ha, as if millions of people haven't seen that already. Millions that's not... upon millions upon Why millions. Why do you have. infer that out of everything yeah like that's obviously but what well, why do i infer what that like we're showing it like oh haha ha, millions of people haven't seen this already wait like you're be... kind of pulling that out of your ass i feel like a little bit i don't i don't know because you're talking about me mentioning the tower the speaker getting taken is like a big deal of a plot spoiler for their I mean, listeners i don't know i don't think that's really i mean it's, it's gonna happen like soon so i figured we'd just let it happen organically I don't know. Not that I, I, I think that, that there'll be good story moments in this game, don't get me wrong, but I think the stuff that they showed it in the, the pre-release footage, the trailers, all the build-up, E3, and was used in the beta, like, I don't know. Destroy the turbines. The shield should fizzle. Pretty sure everyone knows uh... that the turbine gets destroyed. Yes, just mm. like that. So what do you think of the the Titans uh, 
move Zerko. The Titans, like, in general? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's charge and all that. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good time. Enjoying it? Yeah, I uh, probably, probably knowing so that I could throw the shield would have probably been really helpful because the th my main complaint was going to be. Don't worry, Kyle. That uh, that I have felt a little this, bit sluggish. When I first had the alt with the uh, the store, the, like when it teaches tries to teach you it, I would took me like several times before I realized that there were buttons. I was like, what the hell? Other than just spam melee or spam attack, because I was just like, oh my god, I got a flaming sword, just go nuts. Yeah. And then I was like, oh wait, there's different attacks, they do different things. Yeah, I uh, I figured out that there was a hit button and a block button. And that was about the extent of it. We're heading topside now. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I think that the episode, like the end of the first episode will be right around the time uh, that this cutscene's over and we get to that, that place. Oh shit! That guy is a large guy. So I will say this too. This is this is this is the other vibe I get from this game. Like again, there's lots of other vibes. All the yeah. space combat scenes absolutely remind me of Guardians of the Galaxy, hundred percent. Yeah. Like I mean, might as well have literally watched that movie and ripped Chris Pratt's fucking flying skills because that's what like that scene was even right there. You're yeah. Like, well, oh, I had to dance off with some Cabal earlier. That's as Guardians of the Galaxy as it gets. It went there to as well. When you're in space here too, where I was just like, oh my god, what's happening to my screen? But they were just putting effects because you're in space. Yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Huh? I just watched Guardians 2 the other day. That's pretty good. Should say, Ryan, you're uh, oh shitting. Lined up pretty well with what's going on on screen right now. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, the best part of that was Ryan said that, and then Gaul just like smashed to uh, smash me in the face, and my ghost just went flying off the edge. So what happened on my end? So you know when you land on the spaceship? Yeah. There's those little pods launching. So I fell in that, and then one pushed me out into space. <laughs> but I didn't think I landed into it, and then it did hit. Oh me. shit! Yeah. And now I just got kicked off of the. World. Actually, that was just a head kick. Joe Rogan called that. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Destiny 2 boys. Kyle knows what, or Chris knows what I'm talking about. Yep. Yep. I'm actually pretty pumped. We're heading to UFC in a few days. That'll, that'll, that'll be, be very exciting for you guys. Yeah. We, we leave on Friday. We're gonna go to the weigh-ins. They're at 4. Doors open at 3 in Edmonton. Rogers Place. Chris has been there. I have. I have? Uh, well, I don't think you've been to Rogers Place, but you've been to Edmonton. I've been outside of Rogers Place. I don't think yeah, I've actually ever been in it. It's, you've been there. I'm gonna watch Mighty Mouse in the main event. Not that that's the fight I'm most interested in. I was most interested in Nagano versus Dos Santos until Dos Santos decided to be a juicer. What a dick! Well, and yeah. then that food. Well, oh, they didn't get a replacement for Nagano, which is what pissed me off. What, did they just cancel the match? Yeah, they couldn't find a replacement. It's just canceled. Yeah. Uh, but there's two title fights. Nunez vs. Shevchenko 2 is going to be great! That's, that's going to be good. Mm -hmm. I'm that's also pretty excited also for... Um, anyway. I'm, I'm pretty sure... Um, there was another fight I was excited for. I couldn't remember what it was, though. A couple of Melendez fights, though, I think. I haven't seen him fight in a while. He was uh, doing Bellator, wasn't he, for a bit? Maybe? I know he left fuck UFC. It, fucking fucking George Gigard Musasi left UFC, went to Bellator. We're not gonna talk about that. I was very sad to see that happen. I know. They're stealing legit talent here. He's one of my yeah. favorite fighters. I uh, didn't realize Musasi, there was so they much. Got McDonald's. There's a lot of foreshadowing in that cutscene right after you fall off the uh, off oh, the tower. Yeah. The uh, the eagle and the tra traveler shard. I love I how they give you, you, by the way. Sorry, Cog, keep going. It's okay. Two we're, we're two days after attack now, and uh, we're missing our ghost, and we're missing a bunch of health. But that, uh, that's all I was getting at. Go ahead, Ryan. I was just going to say, I, I love how they give you um, your old character or the old Titan class, and they just start you. It's like, yeah. like, like try to presume you're at the end before they rebuild everything. Um, 
What did you guys think of the Kyle's at it now, the moment in the story where they're doing the... Uh, the slow walk? The, then the passage of time, where it's like, hey, you've been out in the wilderness for days. Yeah, I well, it's only been two days right now. Loved it, personally. It's really, it's really uh, cool. Remi reminded me of that really good episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with uh, Gemma Lost on the Planet. Yeah, it reminded Chris and I, uh, there's like a mountain area that's coming up that reminded us a lot of Horizon. I can't, have you played any of that, Ryan? I can't remember. No. No? Oh, okay. The music. Yeah. Um, God, the music. The, yeah, the music's really good, too. That's going to be, like, oh. right around the start of the next episode. Well, I'm, the music uh, is about to happen for you. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just going to get to get to the uh, the part where I'm not doing the slow walk anymore, and I'm going to probably call the episode and start the next one. But uh, I just... I don't want to open yeah, an episode with a fucking get to slow the, walk. Well, like, I mean, for, for Chris and I, it's just a matter of us getting to... Uh, the point when we can fire team. The point when we can be at the EDZ. Yeah. There's, a, there's still a little bit of time before we can do that. I you didn't know what that was. You're, you're like, what? EDZ? I'm like, okay, what? Yeah, well, keep in mind, so like it, you were typing it farm, But it's a, that's just a nickname, like... Yeah, I know. It is the European Dead Zone. Like, that is the name of the place. Yeah, I, I didn't know what that was. That's the last city on Earth, man. Yeah, because before it was just like, oh, it's the tower. Guardian! Hey, Nolan bot. Dude, can I'm not we, even like... off the ship yet. I haven't even. Like, Kyle's way ahead of me. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm get way good ahead scrub. Of I just. I'm just getting my uh, ghost back. How much farther ahead of me are you, Chris? Just a curiosity. Like, I'm fighting. Mm -hmm. You have five minutes. Okay. I'm fighting Brad right now. Also, right. Game of Thrones name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I been, know, there's right? Been, like, seven or eight things that I've been like, yeah. that's literally just a name. Yeah. From Game of Thrones, dude. Like, Alright, boys. Obvious. I'm, uh... I just got my gun back, although I don't have any ammo. My ghost is with me. I'm gonna call this first episode here. Uh, next time, we will try to get to the point where we can all meet up. Might be a little bit ambitious, but we're getting there. <laughs>